Hey, what's up, Daywalkers and fellow travelers of the night? We are here with Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness, a new box of cards from Upper Deck, which is a lot like the Moon Knight cards. You get 15 packs per box and six cards per pack. So I'm very excited to check this out. Um, you know, obviously, I got pulled into this with Blue, and we got into the card collecting. He was already doing magic and things like that and getting some rare magic cards. But for me, I kind of got pulled back in because of the Moon Knight cards, and I love the design on them. And so I saw a few photos of these and thought they looked really cool too, but also really dug this movie. And there's another significance to this movie, a little bit, a minor one for me, which is uh, my best friend Nate, after I was diagnosed, I was diagnosed before the Moon Knight show even came out, but I didn't tell a lot of people uh, because I was struggling with it at first. And when I told my best friend Nate, it was actually when he took me to go see this movie. And the funny thing is, is halfway through this movie, we switched and blue watched a chunk of the movie. So I ended up having to wait for it to come out to rental so I could watch it again in full and like see what I missed. And I missed a lot of the middle stuff with like Wanda and all that stuff, uh, you know, taking out the Illuminati. So I was like, oh my goodness, I missed a, quite a bit in here. So, um, you know, I'm critical of the movie, like of all things, I, I have my criticisms, but I'm a big Sam Raimi fan. I love his Spider-Man movies. I've loved Evil Dead. And so having him on and putting his Sam Raimi-isms in this was a lot of fun. So I have a lot to say about this film, you know, to an extent, you know, based on what we see in the card. So I'll let the cards dictate the conversation and then we'll, you know, go from there. But uh, I don't know what I'm really after. Obviously, I would always love an autograph of some kind. I think there's these ultra rare autographs in this one where they put them in the book of Vashanti. So they actually print like little books that you can open up. I would love to have a miniature book. They did some things like that in the, uh, the Midnight Suns cards as well, the Fleer Ultra ones. And I would love to have like a little booklet. I love things like that. So, and I'm into the dark hold. I'm into all that, you know, dark side of the Marvel Universe stuff. So uh, yeah, if we could find something like that in here, that would be really cool. So without further ado, I've talked plenty. Let's check these out. Uh, I love the box. This shot of Wanda, this drawing, this artwork here is amazing. I think it's fantastic. In fact, I sent a picture of this to my mom and she was like, dude is that she goes is that wanda in the middle i'm like yeah my mom's not very good with names sometimes with characters but she was like is that wanda i go yeah and she goes that's a great image so i don't know if that's printed on a card but i hope so that'd be awesome and then check it out we got america chavez and the sorcerer supreme version of dr strange there um, from the other universe that's really cool too so yes there are a number of inserts in this set just like the moon knight ones so you can get base cards, you can get uh, spell variants of the base cards, you can get Earth 838 variants. So it's like, okay, it, Doctor Strange, for example, you could get him on one card, but then you can get the 838 variant of it, and it's this version of Doctor Strange. Or actually not this version, it's the other one, the one that killed Thanos. Uh, so yeah, so it's all the versions of those characters from the 838 universe. So yeah, all right, let's dive into these, let's check them out. I'll move that to the side, I got my sleeves and top loaders over here. And we'll, uh, hopefully these open easily. Yeah, okay, so these are just like the Moon Knight packs, cool. So I don't know all the inserts, like the, the you know, how rare it is to get them, the odds and stuff, so if we pull some cool things on here, I'll have the, you know, odds of it popping up on screen so you can check it out. Um, all right, so, whoa, check that. Ooh, I love that. The Dark Hold. oh, our first card, I was just talking about the Dark Hold. That's killer. Look at the edges around it that border splattered paint it looks like that's a great shot oh yeah i love this all right already off to a good start in my opinion i'm ready to cast my vote now that's him and mordo they do kind of glaze over that where he says oh yeah mordo he became my mortal enemy he's been trying to kill me for years it's like oh i would have liked to seen that in the movies but you get a little taste of it here so that's fine they still included that and maybe mordo will be a major threat in the third doctor strange film you know, maybe still trying to kill Steven. Hey, look at that. Our first ensemble card. Benedict Cumberbatch as Doctor Strange. Hey, this is an 838. Look at that. Oh, may no, maybe it's not a, a parallel, though. Uh, oh, yeah, maybe it is. No, that's ensemble 8. Okay, never mind. Doctor Strange of 838. Uh, 838. So I don't think this is a, a parallel card. Um, I think this is just the base. Because it does match the borders of the first two cards we got. So I don't know what order these cards go in. So we'll, we'll find out together um, as we go through this. But that's cool. It's a good shot of... That's him right before uh, Black Bolt, you know, says sorry and kills him. Um, that's a, yeah, really, really tough image to look at. 
Because I like Benedict Cumberbatch as Doctor Strange. Like, he's fantastic in the role as well. And I actually really like, and I'm, I don't want to butcher her name. She's on Dancing with the Stars as well. Um, I don't want to butcher her name. But the young lady who plays America Chavez, amazing. She does an amazing job, I think, um, as the character. As a character who I never really cared about in the comic books. But I actually like the movie version of her. All right, looks like we got our first hit. Whoa! A universe card. So you know all those different multiverses that they go through in the movie? They actually made cards for each one so you can finally learn what each you know universe they win. I think some of these are from the art of Doctor Strange book as well. But one of the universes is called the Savage Land, which is a really cool Marvel you know, Easter egg thing. Um, so I would love to pull the Savage Land. But getting this one, the Living Tribunal Statue World, that's a great image too. Um, and then look at that, the Book of Ashanti uh, as our, is that a red parallel? It is, look, because there's silver around the edges. So this is a red parallel of the first card of the set. It doesn't say red parallel though, so maybe I'm wrong. Um, but it has red around the edges, so that's cool. Those might be one a pack. We'll find out when we open the next pack, but... This here, Universe 10, uh, card number 10. And these are pretty rare to get, I think, too. I'll put the, again, I'll put the odds up on the screen there. But I'm so glad we got one of these. This is one of those insert sets I would like to collect, but they're just too hard to get, and I don't have enough money to buy multiple box of these. So we're just going to have the few that I got, and then hope we'll get whatever we get in there. Um, and our main goal is just to make a base set, pretty much. The first universe that Doctor Strange and America Chavez enter after escaping their own is a living tribunal statue world. This universe exists in the clouds and features many large stone heads with glowing eyes. That is cool. All right, so I'll put that aside as one of our hits because, like I said, I believe it is one. Uh, and I think in each box you get maybe four or five on average, much like Moon Knight had. Um, so, hey, look at that. The Illuminati will see you now. Mr. Baron Mordo, who is the Sorcerer Supreme in this universe. Uh, let me separate the, the red card, just in case, in case we end up making a pile. Um, and there's uh, Christina Palmer with Benedict Cumberbatch as Doctor Strange. When That's after the fight with the, um, where he's throwing the musical notes at each other, him and other Doctor Strange. Uh, really cool. A lot of creative stuff in this movie. This is interesting, too. This is a, a reason I resonated with the film. Uh, when America said, I never dream. Uh, for those who don't know, without visual memory for years, there's just been complete blackness when I close my eyes and I haven't been able to conjure images and stuff and or dream or remember that I've dreamed or, or however it works. Um, and so when she said that in this film, that actually resonated with me. I, I made me feel connected a little bit to that character or at least understand because that's a really rare thing. And uh, so to have her character say that was I was like, wow, OK, I, I see um, hey, look at that. Speaking of Wanda, we do get a cool ensemble Wanda card here. Look at that. Elizabeth Olsen as Wanda. Great. Hey, look at this. Is there a doctor in the house? And this is the Sorcerer Supreme one, right? Oh, and there's our red. He turned to the dark hold. That's cool. I'll put that aside. And then let's see what this is. DH number eight. No numbered on these. I think there's only, per box, you might only get one or two numbered cards. So, so far, no numbered cards. But um, I don't know how often you get these. There's also another insert called Witchy Woman that focuses on Wanda, obviously. But these are different variants of Stephen Strange. Is there a doctor in the house? So that's cool. Um, so this is Defender Strange. That's what they call him. Um, that's really awesome. Cool. So two packs and... Kind of two hits so far, so I'll, I'll take it. Let's keep going. We're off to a good start. And if you have any comments you want to make about this movie and opinions of it, rating it, if you want to rate it one to five, let me know down below. Um, I would say this movie to me is a four out of five. The, the My major criticism for it is that Illuminati part where I like some of it and then I, I didn't like some of it. Uh, but I did overall enjoy the movie uh, when I finally watched it in full. And I think I've seen it probably like six or seven times now. Uh, I really do. I really did enjoy it. Uh, like I said, a lot of Sam Raimi isms in it. Hey, all right. So our, well, uh oh, I think do we got something thick there? I don't know what that is. Uh, maybe nothing. But um, our ensemble card is the second card, and we got another Elizabeth Olsen. This is the Wanda from Earth eight three eight though. 
So that's great. I love that. Yeah, obviously I have a, a big crush. Like, she's beautiful. <laughs> so, uh, uh, and I like the character. I think, I think it was ballsy to make her the villain of this film. And I thought they pulled it off really well. Um, because she has a nice arc in the movie, uh, I feel. All right, so ensemble card there. I warned you. That's cool looking. Look at that. She is possessed. That's when she's possessing the other world Wanda, which is cool. The 838 Wanda. Uh, we need your help. Another great card. That's cool. Great shot. And the movie shot well. That's the thing about these cards when they're based off of these movies. If the movie shot well, I want the cards. You know, if there's good cinematography, then that's artwork to me. You know, I know uh, I like drawing artwork too, or drawn artwork, but cinematography is artwork too so like if they do a werewolf by night set i will be all over that i would love a werewolf by night set they could do color and black and white like they could make the set in black and white and do color variants since they did release the color version of the movie so upper deck if you don't have plans hire me i will come up i'll map out the entire 50 base card set i'll do 50 cards i'll come up with all the inserts like you know we'll we'll have inserts with fur on them no i'm kidding <laughs> there'll be so much we'll have a lot of fun though um but look at this we got another Boom! Whoa! Check that out. And here's our red card. Give me what I need. Another book of Ashanti. But what is this? And it's America Chavez. That's great. That wasn't a dream. FC 19. When Baron Mordo comes to Doctor Strange in the facility, Strange tells 838 Christine Palmer to keep America Chavez safe. The Scarlet Witch is still after her. That's a great card. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, we got to sleeve this. We might actually have to top load this one, maybe. Um, I don't know how rare <laughs> this one is. So, again, I'll have it pop up on screen. I might be freaking out over something that's in every box. You know, I have no idea. But um, that is cool. Just like a piece of cell animation in there from the film, too. A film directed by Sam Raimi. How awesome. Like, yeah, I'm so into this. Okay. Um, I'm having more fun than I thought. I, I knew I was going to have a ton of fun on this box, but... Yeah, sorry. I know this is going to probably be like an hour video. <laughs> I'll do my best to speed things up. But, man, so far we've had a pretty good number of hits in each pack. And now there's something in this one? No, it looks like a normal card maybe. But, nope, it's not. Uh, I don't know what that is. We'll keep going, though. You couldn't portal us up there? That's a great... I love that scene with um, with Wong and, and Scarlet Witch. <laughs> and he's like, yeah, I can't... My magic doesn't work near anything by Cathan, which I'm a huge fan of the Darkhold and Cathan and all that, you know, lore and stuff from Marvel. So this movie did a great job um, bringing all that to light. And hey, look at this. Chiwito, Edgy of Four as Master Mordo. And I, what I love is he's a great actor, by the way, all the way back from like Firefly and, uh, and a lot of the movies he's done, whether it be dramas or comedies, like he's always a fantastic actor. And I believe he is playing a, a major character in the next Venom movie. So really looking forward to seeing who he's going to portray in Venom. Um, awesome. So, so far, an ensemble card in every pack, too, which is great. Thrown into the Multiverse. That's a great card also. All right. And Captain Marvel versus Scarlet Witch. Yeah, the other universe Captain Marvel. Um, oh, my God. There's something really shiny back here. So let's go to the red card. Doctor Strange prepares to dreamwalk. Awesome scene. I love that he jumps into the dead body of Defender Strange in his world and makes like a zombie version of himself. It's so good. So many Sam Raimi stuff in that film. I love it. Um, so let's see what this card is. Oh, ooh, whoa. Dude, how trippy. <laughs> Pure Madness. Benedict Cumberbatch as Doctor Strange. PM1. Whoa. All right. The first in this set of inserts. Pure Madness 1. Dude, this is amazing. All the hits were so far in the in the packs on the right when opening the box. Um, that's cool. Again, I don't know how rare it is, so I'll put it up on screen. That's really cool, though. This is good. I mean, like, I like having a, a range of different types of inserts to show off on this first episode because, um, yeah, it's, it's cool to, like, learn as we go through this. Um, oh, wow. So, all right, we got our ensemble in the first card now. We got Christine Palmer. I love that. Great shot of Rachel McAdams. Another terrific actress. Um, this movie was, you know, these movies are cast well, too, I feel like. The Doctor Strange, the first one and the second one. Um, 
And yeah, the second one, I know there was like versions where they had like, they were talking about Nightmare might be in it and all this stuff. Hey man, I think still turned out to be a really good movie. And um, I hope Sam Raimi comes back for the third one and he does get to do something like Nightmare or, you know, or bring back Dormammu or something. Um, or I think they're going to deal with the, the incursions in the next one with Clea. So that'd be cool too, because I think they cast a great Clea in Charlize Theron. So speaking of zombie, dude, look at that. I'm good strange. You're bad strange. <laughs> Oh, no, it's the other way around. I'm bad strange. You're good strange. You're goody little two-shoes. Uh, I have to close it. Yeah, that's a good... Whoa, what's this? Is that... Oh, whoa, it's like... It's like a foil thing. Card six, but it's not like a regular card. Look, there's like more effects on it. What does that mean? So this is some kind of parallel for sure, but... It doesn't say it on the back. Our Gargantos was the creature that was chasing them, even though it looked like um, Shuma Garath a little bit. Uh, but I don't think they're allowed to use the, the, the name Shuma Garath. I think that's a Marvel vs. Capcom thing. Um, but yeah, there's some kind of like effect on that uh, that is different than the other cards. So, wow, two hits. Wait, hold on. Look, and I got the red parallel of it. So we got some kind of weird hologram parallel with, I mean, yeah, I don't know what, there's an effect on it. It, it, it stands out from the regular cards, that's for sure. So just in case, I'm going to just sleeve it. I don't know. There's no number on it, so it can't be that rare. But, um, but yeah, we got both cards in the pack. And this one has like that weird, you can see the colors shifting around her. Um, so cool. All right, we'll put that over there. Oh my God, <gasps> my first alpha, one out of 838, bro, look at that border, we have to go now, this is at the end of the movie when she finally learns how to use her powers, dude, my first alpha, I love it, oh my God, in the same pack as like the, the, the shinier other card, like that's crazy. One out of 838. Oh man, I'm so ha I'm so happy with this. But that was the first five packs we got. And look, we got an alpha. We got this cool like orange splashy, you know, art thing around it with the foil. We got this pure madness. And is there a doctor in the house? We got a tribunal card uh, for the universes. And this wasn't a dream. Like, Jesus. And wait, there's six cards here. And we only went through five packs. Man, oh man. <laughs> Unreal. Uh, wow. All right. So I would say, you know, go buy a box for sure. I'll put a link to Skill City down below. That's where we got these packs from and these boxes. So, And we have two more videos to make of this. We bought three boxes total. So this is not the end. Um, not even, well, close to the end because there's only three. But yeah, I don't know. Well, we'll see. Maybe one day we'll be able to afford some more. But it'll be a while. Um, all right, Christine. Oh, speaking of Clea, look at that. Charlize Theron as Clea. I was just complimenting her. Great casting. Can't wait to see her in future Doctor Strange stories. Um, face Your Fears, Doctor Strange. It's a good one. Great shot. I like her portals, the stars. Uh, they look really neat. Oh, look at that. Trust Your Power. Wanda wiping i think a scar off her face she gets hit pretty hard there by um america chavez i believe let's see our red card oh face your fears dr strange <laughs> we uh, got it in red as well the red parallel cool and then let's see what kind of hits behind here Ooh, what is this a dark old castle guard this is a top secret America's allies. I don't think this one's an ally, <laughs> but this is uh, Scarlet Witch has awoken four dark hold castle guards on Mount Wondagore. Um, so that's cool. So it's like a little folder file. It doesn't open though. It's just a full on card. Um, but yeah, that's neat. No number to it or anything, but still really cool. We'll go ahead and sleeve it. All right. And we are on stack two already. So, oops, all right. So we got four more packs left on stack two. Yeah, we're only we're not even halfway through this box yet. I'm taking forever, but I'm, I'm learning as I'm going, you know. 
Uh, so hopefully that's okay with you guys. We'll try to speed it up a little bit. I'll give you what you want. That's a cool card. Uh, the Forbidden Grounds of Wonder Gore. Very cool shot of Wong there and Wanda. Hey, there we are. There's America. Getting her as an ensemble is great. Looks like, uh, I think there's more than nine. On, in Moon Knight, there's only nine ensembles. I think there's a lot more ensembles in this set. So I don't think you can get an entire set of ensembles in a, in a single box. I think there might be close to 20, possibly. Um, that's cool. Good to see her. Good to see America on there. Oh, and then look, we got another shiny one. Did we get one of these before? I feel like I should go back and look now. Um, nope. All right. So just now seeing them. Good. It means I didn't miss one. Uh, your mind is being held hostage. This is when Charles Xavier is trying to rescue her um, from, you know, her imprisonment from the other world, Wanda. And then extracting America's powers. And let's see what else we got to go. Oh, what? We got another one of those numbered cards. Look at that. And this time it's an ensemble of Doctor Strange. Another alpha. What? Dude, do we get like the first box off the printing press? Amazing. One out of 838. I cannot believe our first two alphas are in the same box. That's unreal. That's, God, that's wild. I love the colors on this. I just love it. It looks fantastic. Um, it's such a stark contrast from the, you know, paint splashes and, uh, I mean, even though it's kind of there, but it looks very beach-like, you know? Um, and it's uh, it's stark contrast to the the horrific, you know, version, like the, the bleaker, scarier supernatural look of those ones. Um Man, another alpha, and then another one of these, all in one pack. Unreal. I mean, just awesome. <laughs> Unreal and awesome. All right, so we got another one of those, whatever these are. Um, so I'll have to look them up, and hopefully the name will come up on the uh, screen there. All right, we got eight more eight more packs. I can't, can't believe we're this far in and only, only eight. Oh, our ensemble's in the back of this pack. Interesting. Who said they had to be living? That's great. When he takes over his dead body. I'm not a monster, Steven. Oh, you know what? That ensemble card in the back must be a red variant. Oh, that's why. Son Mis Madres. Uh, this is when she's talking about her, her moms uh, when they disappeared. Hopefully she gets control of her powers and goes finds them. Um, whoa, what is this? Oh, the ribboned creature. So this is the thing from the beginning um, not Shuma Garath. Uh, I think that's Gargantos, as they call that thing. But this is the ribbon creature from the beginning where they fight in the uh, in that area where the uh, Book of Ashanti is. So just really cool, though. Neat monster. Very cool looking in the movie. Um, and then, yeah, look at that. Haley Atwell as Captain Carter. Cool seeing her in live action. I like her on What If, but it was cool to see her in live action. Um yeah, she put up a good fight, as as any Captain America or Captain Britain would. But, uh, yeah, Wanda, she's very powerful, as she showed. So, um, all right, let's dive into this. Look at that. Defender Strange. Another American Allies, or America's Allies. That's cool. All right, sweet. Another top secret file. Feels very S.H.I.E.L.D.-like, you know, which is, doesn't really... Seemed like it meshes with Doctor Strange, but I'm a big fan of contrast too. So that would be cool to see Doctor Strange with a bunch of Shield agents in a in a movie. Um, that'd be really cool. All right, so let's see what we got here. Boom! Give me your Christine. Yeah, that was creepy when he's like, you know what? Why don't you give me your Christine uh, and uh, and I'll I'll let you live or whatever. And he's like, uh, I don't think she's gonna go for that. <laughs> um, I would never hurt you. That's when she's talking to her kids. Very heartbreaking scene. Um, you know, she Wanda's going through some stuff. I mean, in the Marvel Universe, she loses her brother in the first movie that you kind of meet them in, technically, you know, not counting the post credit scene they were in. Um, but then she loses Vision in a very heartbreaking way. And then, you know, Endgame just gets worse for everybody, but they do bring people back, and but her people don't get to come back. So then she creates a life with her powers, having kids and Vision back, and it's... It's neat, and I'm looking forward to seeing where they go with the Vision story, and I hope they bring Wanda back at a point where she gets a chance at a redemption a little bit further. Um, that would be a good end to her character, I feel like. She deserves a happy ending 
after all the stuff she's done, even though she's the cause of it. But I feel like she took accountability in this movie and allows herself to possibly die at the end. But I don't think she's dead. So we'll see. Um, all right. It's Wanda. Oh, speaking of it's Wanda. Boom. Look at that. Great shot. Kind of mimics, even though the one on the box is a drawing, it does kind of mimic that, that look. I'll take it though. That's a beautiful shot. Hey, and look, another ensemble right after that one. And this one is one of those shiny ones. So this is the hit of the pack is interesting. Because uh, these weren't hits in the other packs. Um, and then there you go. You got the, are you happy, Steven? That's a great line. I like that in the movie. That comes back to at the end. Um, Sheila as Sarah. Okay. But yeah, that's another one of those sh shiny ones. All right. Cool. Six packs left. Already, what, like 30 minutes in? <laughs> I'm, hopefully I'll get faster in future videos, but I'm just in... I love this movie, so seeing the images is cool. It's like the Moon Knight stuff. You still didn't get the girl. That's a That was a good line he delivered, because that was from the doctor in the first movie that, you know, he kind of outshined. Uh, I'm sorry, Stephen. It's the Mordo moment where he drugs them. It cannot be you. This is where Sarah steps in and sacrifices herself to destroy the Darkhold, which was really awesome and brave of her, but unfortunately there's Darkholds in other realities, so... It only slowed Wanda down. Hey, look at this. A Darkhold Castle Guard as an ensemble. Sweet. Oh, that's cool looking. Um, all right, let's pull the red card. Trust yourself. Look at that face. It's a face a mother could love. Only a mother could love. <laughs> that's, uh, that's cool, though. Oh, he looks great. That makeup is fantastic. Um, all right, so there's our red card. And then let's see what this... Ooh, there's our first witchy woman. Witchy woman. All right. Look at that. WW number four. Cool. So this one, again, I don't know the pack odds or anything. I'll put them up on screen. But these are about one or two a box, I think, along with the, uh, you know, c c looking for a doctor or, you know, that, that card. Uh, so this is her insert set. America has her America Allies insert set. And Doctor Strange has, is there a doctor in the house? Insert set. Uh, all right, so final five packs. Let's freaking go. Let's see if I can keep this episode to under 35 minutes at least. Maybe, we'll see. Um, oh, great shot of America there. I'm glad I fell into your universe. Where are you going? That's a good one too. Very scary movie-esque with her reflection in the window there. Hey, there, a classic Doctor Strange. From the main MCU universe. Oh, I like that a lot. That's really cool. Oh, this. Look at that with the third eye. The Darkhold exacts a heavy toll. Another good line in the movie. I like that. Um, there are inserts, by the way. I don't know if we ran into them yet. That have a hidden third eye on them. So there's like spell variants. And then there are ones that have third eye. You know, that's a good question. Is this? Is that what this is? Uh, I don't know. I can't see an eye on there, but maybe. No, I guess not. But yeah, there are variants of these cards that um, can have a third eye on them. <laughs> so, I, oh, look at that, dude. Never mind. So I guess maybe you get two in a box. We got another witchy woman. And then here's our red card. Oh, there's Gargantos, a.k.a. Shuma, not Shuma Garath, as a red card. That's awesome. And for this set, I, I will make, it, you know, I'll include the red variants in my base set. Like, I, I don't need to have, like, Moon Knight, we wanted a full base set, a full sand set, you know, a bunch of sky blues, midnight blues, all the stuff. We wanted a lot. But um, in this set, if I can make a full set out of these three boxes using the red inserts as well, then I'll count that. I mean, you know, I won't go hunting down a base card of every single card. If we get it in red, we'll use it. But look at that, a second witchy woman. I wonder if that means we'll get a second um, of, uh, you know, is there a doctor in the house? I don't know. Only four packs left. So we'll see. All right. Trust Your Power is going to be our red card. We got Wanda Dreamwalking. Creepy. Hey, we got Wong. Finally. That's awesome. Great shot of him, too. Sweet. 
All right, we got the Book of Ashanti. Give me what I need. Very cool. Doctor Strange prepares the Dream Walk. So some, yeah, we're probably going to start seeing doubles now. and Probably will with the next two boxes, but that's okay. Hey, and look at that. I was just talking. Is there a doctor in the house? There's our second one right there. And he looks great. And then our red card, Trust Your Power. And then, boom, I'm going to sleeve this. Pretty good on the hits. And, I, you know, these hits aren't amazing. Like, you know, they're, they're pretty basic designs on them. Nothing flashy or, you know, chrome on them or anything like that. But that's they're still neat looking. It's just seeing cool character shots, you know, are, is always good. You know, I like that. Um, all right, so. Cool. We got three packs left, inclu including this one. So here we go. And every morning, the same nightmare. Nice. Oh, there we go. We got Gargantos as... The base card in Ensemble. Cool. The Book of Ashanti again. Nice. Exacting, uh, extracting America's powers. Cool. Oh, I don't know what that is. So we'll skip it for a minute. Scarlet Witch Dreamwalks in red. Okay. So without further ado, let's see what this... Oh, whoa! 31 out of 99, a numbered. So maybe these are the ones that are one a box. You either get one, you know, is there a Doctor in House or one Witchy Woman numbered. But that's cool. So it has like a kind of like a goldish background. That's cool. 31 out of 99. All right, I'll take it. All right, last two packs. Here we go. And again, leave your thoughts down below of uh, what cards would you like me to hit? I mean, obviously, I, you know, an autograph would flip all of us out. But I only got three boxes, and I think they were, uh, you know, I don't know, towards the end of the, the order. So I don't know, like, I don't know what order they pulled them in or what, you know. Some in the Moon Knight ones, if a box had a metal card in it, I could feel it just by lifting it. It felt like it weighed more than a regular box. Um, but these all felt like they weighed the same. So... Uh, I don't know if there's any metal cards in this set to offset it. So that could be a thing, too, where there, it, there just isn't metal cards. Um, I imagine there's printing plates, though. But uh, but that could be a way to where you can't just hold it by hand and, and tell the difference. So who knows what would hit. Um, I, I imagine those books, though, are thicker. I imagine you, would tell, you could tell, but probably not till you get to the pack, I'm guessing. Um, all right. Are you happy, Steven? Trust yourself. Hey, another one. Holy cow. Is it the Alpha? Oh, we got the red parallel of Wong as the ensemble. Come on, Alpha. Dude. Dude. Three freaking Alphas in a single box. Awesome. I cannot believe that. <laughs> makes it feel less special a little bit but at the same time like it looks like that's how they package the number cards maybe maybe if you get a box you're gonna get you know if you get num card number 12 every number card in that box minus you know the the do is the doctor in the house ones or something you maybe you'll get if it's any of these they might all be the number 12 so that's just wild though that's so wild um well i'm i'm top loading my uh my alphas because uh like i said these are the first three alphas i've ever gotten we opened like how many moon knight boxes like 30 and uh and i i never got an alpha um in, in any of them and neither did blue like zero alphas achieved so we're making up for that now so thank you <laughs> yeah steel city order your cards from steel city link down below all right so i was trying to finish by 35 minutes it looks like we're gonna go a little past but let's do it we got our last pack here let's hope for some magic we got I shall miss you, my friend. Ooh, an Ultron bot. Ross Marcand as Ultron bot. That's cool. See, even Ultron bot's got ensemble cards in this set. Uh, we can't let you. We can't let it take your power. And that's true. They can't. But I like. Oh, and that's no. Okay, I thought it was one of the shimmery ones. Oh wait, this, there's something back here. All right, so we got our red card. Oh, this is a thick card too. All right, so we got our red card. And let's see what this is. 
Ooh, what is that? Dimensions card. Oh, this is of uh, Captain Marvel, right? Oh, that's, wow, that's messing with my eyes big time. But, um, oh, wow, something. Oh, no, we're good. Yeah, there's there's like something fell on it or something. I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll clean it. Um, I got a cloth. But after watching Wanda shred Reed Richards into strings, Maria Rambeau glances at Captain Carter. Rambeau summons her mask and flies in the air, blasting Maximoff with a beam of energy. So this is Dimension Card 2. Um, that's cool looking, though. I'm looking forward to getting one of these if, if possible. I don't know how many of these are in a box. I'll put the odds right there. Um, but if you get one a box or not, I don't know. But I would love to get one with uh, Scarlet Witch or Doctor Strange on it. That's for sure. But there you go. Any Captain Marvel collectors out there? Let me know. Maybe we'll find this a good home. Uh, awesome. Sweet. So that is our box. Uh, we got a good chunk of cards here to start building our base set. We got, you know, our 15 red parallels. One from each pack. And then we got a slew of hits, I feel. Um... Boom, we got the Dimensions card. We got a numbered Is There a Doctor in the House. We got a regular Is There a Doctor in the House. And also another regular Is There a Doctor in the House. So put all three of those together. We got two Witchy Womans. Two Wanda Witchy Womans. Really cool. And then we got some of these. Oh, let's do the Top Secret cards. We got the Top Secret cards of the Darkhold Castle Guard and the Defender Strange for America's Allies. And then we got these like shinier cards <laughs> like that I don't know what to call, but they are cool looking. And maybe these are the ones with the eyes in them. I don't know. You guys will have to let me know. I don't see an eye up there, but then again, maybe it's just hidden in different areas in each card. Um, oh, this one should be in a top loader because this is an alpha and I want to protect all my alphas because these are my first ones. <laughs> so yeah, so we'll look at the alphas last. We got our pure madness, which is a really cool card. Um, awesome. Our universe one, this is one of my favorites. Because like I said, if I had the money to complete a universe set, that's the insert set I would want the most. Because I just, I didn't get enough. I paused that movie a hundred times to see each world. And I, I was like, okay, there's a paint world and there's, you know, the living tribunal. And like, but what else is there? And uh, the, it turns out the jungle one that they show is called the Savage Land. And I would love that card. That's that's an insert I'm definitely looking for. Uh, we got our cell of, of uh, America Chavez here. Awesome. And then we got our three alphas all in one box. <laughs> one of 838, which is cool. Um, so these are the 838 variants is what that uh, design is around it. I was talking about those earlier. So that's what these parallels are. They're from the, the world of 838, I guess. So awesome. Very happy with these. Thank you again, Still City. Buy your cards from them. Link down below. And we will have more of these coming very, very soon. In fact, I'm going to open a second box right now. So stay subscribed so you don't miss out on that episode. See you in the future. Peace.